Surprise! Italian comic book movie! You're watching Beyond the Trailer's review of Dylan Dog, Dead of Night. What is this? What is that? They're the living dead, Marcus. The good news, the condition is, uh, manageable. This spring. Don't scream. <gasps> What the hell is going on here? Who's your friend, Dylan? She's got some nice parts on her. Not all the undead are bad. Oh my god, what's wrong with my arm? Relax, it's a loner. My arm is brown! They were out of Caucasian in your size. With so many comic book movies hitting theaters and often the top of the box office, it's no wonder that foreign comics would eventually catch Hollywood's eye as well. Such is the case with Dylan Dog, which is based on a popular Italian horror comic introduced in the 1980s and still being published to this day. Interestingly, this Italian comic is set in London, where Dylan Dog is a former Scotland Yard detective turned quirky nightmare investigator. Word is that the comic uses the horror genre as a metaphor for modern society and is a huge hit in Italy, selling millions of copies. But while original Dylan Dog artist Claudio Villa based the character on Rupert Everett, Hollywood has cast shunned Superman actor Brandon Ruth. And that's not the only thing they changed. Gone is Dylan Dog's Groucho Marx impersonating sidekick, replaced with a newly zombified assistant. The setting has also been moved to New Orleans. Why change what works? Eh, it's a Hollywood thing. But while hats off to Ruth for keeping his career alive in inventive ways, check out his funny Zack and Miri make a porno and Scott Pilgrim cameos, this movie was already released in Italy and widely panned. Will American audiences feel differently? Let's go find out. So tell me, are you familiar with the Italian comic this is based on? Yes. Oh, okay. So what made you go and see this today? Uh, I really enjoy the comic quite a bit. Oh, so um, the English translations, anyway. <laughs> but uh, and I, it's supposed to come out quite a while ago. I, I know they it made it Italy a long time a while ago. ago. Yeah. Um, so I've been kind of interested to check it out for a long How time. How was it? It was. It was a fun movie. Yeah. Um, as an adaptation of the comic, it wasn't necessarily that great of an adaptation. Ooh, but what were they missing? Um, you think? Well, I, I think some things that you, they probably couldn't get away with doing in the film, but oh. also. Um, the just sort of really weird sense of humor that that is in the comic, which maybe wouldn't necessarily translate very well to a film, an American film. American film, you know, film, of yeah. an Italian, you know, it's, it's like sort Groucho of different. Mark side right, 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 exactly, yeah. exactly. <laughs> you know, and they had they 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 actually they have the little the photo where his, his old girlfriend is dressed up as Groucho Marx. Oh yeah, that's kind of funny. I mean, and and you know, of course, he has the outfit. So visually, you know, he looks a lot like. Well, what did you think of Brandon something? Ruth? You know, he's still trying to live down Superman Returns. Uh, yeah, I mean, he was fine, he, you know. He did a good he, job? Yeah, I mean, f f well, that's what I was going to say. As an adaptation of the comic, it wasn't very good, but as a film, you know, it was fun. It was entertaining. Was it more it like was... a TV movie or like a movie movie? Um, yeah, I mean, I suppose it, it could have been s sort of similar to some of like the sci-fi channel yeah, movies right? or something yeah. like that. It's like that, that, uh, um, Level of cheesiness and entertainment, well, what, but I mean it was—it's fun. You so know, it's a you, fun. What, what film. would you say are the pros of the movie? Um, I thought it was pretty entertaining. I thought the special effects were pretty good. Um, it's uh, you know it was kind of silly, but in an entertaining way. Okay, so what are the cons know? on the flip side? Um, I think I think they're, it's going to be hard to find a good audience for the film because I think the built-in audience for the film are the people who really like the comics or that type of story yeah. you know that the comics and have and that's not here um, and I think they sort of missed it in that so, in that sense so as opposed to say a film like Cemetery Man you know which was also based on the same work by mm -hmm. the, the guy who created the comic books um, which I felt even though it wasn't an adaptation of, of those comics yeah much more similar to to what those kind to of do, stories right? and and that that sort of visual style of the comics well, and so bottom but, line would you recommend someone pay to see this movie in theaters I guess it, de it really depends on what they like. You know, if, if you like sort of, you know, goofy, horror comedy type things, then it's very entertaining. You know, if you like something that's a little more serious or, or like a horror movie that's scary as opposed to funny, or you actually are like a huge fan of the comics or something, probably not. I see. Okay, what would you give it? What would you give it? It's very diplomatic of you. All right, what would you give it on a one to ten? 
I'd say it's five. It's like right in the middle. Okay. You know what I All mean? Right. It was like it wasn't horrible. It wasn't great. It was entertaining. I mean, it did it did what it set out to do. It entertained me, you know, for an hour and a half. So I can't I can't really complain too much about it. You That's know what great. I mean? Thank you. But. Sounds like seeing Dylan Dog Dead of Night is a roll of the dice as that gentleman gave the movie a five. And be sure to tune in for Movie Math Live every Sunday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time where I go over the weekend box office followed by a Q&A of the business of Hollywood. Just go to youtube.com slash beyond the trailer and click the live tab at the top of the page. I'm Grace Randolph reporting from AMC Empire 25 and I hope you'll go beyond the trailer for these other top movies.